what we're going to do is we're going to soak this with Cree oil. In case the lift is stuck in the bores, mm -hmm. I'm going to soak it. That one's not. That one is. And that one is not. So we've got two that are stuck. Those have to be free or the engine's not going to spin. Is that what's holding the engine stuck? I doubt it, but we're going to free them up anyway before we go any further. A reader sent us these. I've shown them to you before, a viewer. <laughs> and, uh, well, he reads too. Yeah. These are fantastic. I can't squeeze like crazy on this because I don't want to break it. Yeah. does not want to move. Mm. just doesn't want to move. Got it. You did? I think so. Oh, I couldn't tell. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. <gasps> okay, I saw it. Okay, we got to get some more crew oil on it. It's moving. Oh. That acetone may have helped, and these helped for sure. The lifters are now loose, so let's see if it made any difference. No. Nope. Nope. I didn't expect it would, but it would have been nice. <laughs> but this one, this cylinder we need to work. And that valve is stuck open, and there's a lot of rust in here that needs to go. Uh, also, these water passages are plugged or full of junk. Look at this one here. It's in really bad shape. So I need to clean that all out. So I'm going to start first with trying to get this valve clear. And I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper to sand the edges of the valve while it's open. And then I'm going to use some Cree oil and some force to see if I can get this thing to move. What I'm doing here is just going around the seat with sandpaper folded in half. So I'm getting two sides. Uh, but really right now I'm only concerned about the valve. And then I'm going to try to get the seat cleaned up. It's the way it is now. It just will not seal at all. It'll be like not having the cylinder working. So far it looks promising. I'm getting a lot of the rust off. As I work on this, I'm going to put some Cree oil down inside to start to work it loose. I don't know if this will help, but it's not going to hurt, that's for sure. The goal here is to get it loose enough that I can take it out and clean up the seat and the valve itself once it's out. But there's no guarantee this is coming out. So I'm doing a little prep ahead of time. You probably can't see this, but the Cree oil is coming through. There's the stuck valve right there and the Cree oil is coming through. So that's a good sign that I'm getting some penetration and maybe I can free this thing up. All right, I'm ready to give this a try. This is the stuck valve. I've got it sitting, the head sitting on a piece of wood. So if I push up and down on the valve, it's not hitting the bench. I'm just gonna tap it with a brass hammer. And as you can see, it's stuck. It's going down actually a little bit, that's good. And I can't just hammer away because I'll get something called coil bind if I push it too far and I won't get any spring pressure coming back. So that's as far as I wanna push it. Um, now, it, going to do a little bit of an unorthodox thing, but I stick a screwdriver in between the coils and I pry upward to try to give some pressure on um, the stem to try to push up and get out of the way. So I'm going to try that now. All right, I got the valve unstuck. You can see it's fully extended. Now I can get the keeper out 
which is this retainer right here, and pull the whole valve a lot easier because the spring is under far less pressure. And uh, then I can clean it up a little more properly. So I'm gonna look at these others, make sure these others aren't stuck, but if they are, those are coming out as well. All right, we're gonna do the unthinkable. Christina has been working very hard on the cylinder walls of the bad cylinders, and she's got them pretty smooth. So I think it's not impossible that this will come unseized now. I'm going to hit every cylinder with Cree oil. Even the broken one. And then I'm going to try using a block of wood on one of the bad cylinders to try to push it down. I have seen this work. If you all have seen the video of the 50 Chevy that we did, this is exactly how we got it unseized. This one's a lot worse, so we'll see. Yeah, babe, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's going, it's going. It's still going, babe, it's still going. Oh, hen. Oh, come on, vessel. Come on, please. Come on. Oh, it's still going. Vessel's still going for you, babe. Oh. Okay, that's the most it has moved. How much did Well, about it. Jesus, it didn't move very much. It moved, like, from here to here. Uh-huh. That's a lot, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a lot more than zero. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Okay, you got it, babe. It went just fine. Oh, yeah. <gasps> this is the most I have seen it. Oh, no. Okay, it's still going. Yeah, yes. we got it. We got it. <sighs> we got give, it. Me, give me the, you know what I'm looking for. Well, we just, don't have that piston done yet. We got everything except that piston done. Look, give me the woohoo. Come on now, you got it to move after. It took us four days for this. Yeah, but that piston isn't moving yet. Aww. That's the key. Give me something. Woo! Okay, thank you. But now we know we don't have bearing seizures. We don't have two other piston seas. We've got one. And we've got a path to getting it unseized. 